Hi folks, and welcome back to the back garden, the backyard, as it were. <laughs> I like saying backyard, it's very American, but um, it kind of distinguishes, because when I think of garden, I think of the allotment. Anyway, anyway, another random day to be uploading. Um, I feel like with Monday's upload, I've just gone a bit rogue. I'm feeling a bit, uh, you know, like there's no rules anymore. It doesn't matter, now I'm just on my phone and it's so easy. And I've been, I've been busy in the back garden. I <laughs> just bought a new lawnmower. Um, <laughs> little bargain. And I've just, I've been, I've been working away and I thought, you know what, why not, why not get the camera out? Because I don't show you guys the back garden very often at all. And that is because it is an absolute mess. <laughs> and I don't like showing it off, to be honest. Um, but today, you know, I've been getting stuck in. And I just thought this was such a good example. I've mentioned recently that the house has kept me really busy and that I got a bit like compulsive and a bit obsessive about this to-do list. And I'm a really compulsive person, right? Like I'll start a tiny little job and I'll just get carried away and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So it all started, you know, I just wanted to test out this new little mower. Um, the grass is really, really long. So I just wanted to see, you know, could it cope with it? It's done a surprisingly good job, actually. Say hello to Rue. She's our new house guest. Rhys, she's not really bothered. <laughs> not when there's squirrels about. Um, and you know, I just, this is kind of what I'm like. I'll start with one little thing and then I'll kind of go, oh, I'll just tidy up the edges. So I came over here <laughs> and um, there's kind of like some brickwork and I was like, well, I haven't seen that in two years. <laughs> Let's start tidying that. And you know, look at it now. I just get completely carried away. There's this problem that I've got at the moment in the back garden with a, a sedge. It looks like this. It's kind of like a, a grass, but it's just become really invasive. It spreads via the rhizomes. And you can see some of it here. And that I think has kind of started here. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it, start digging. And you know, it's been like, an hour. I've just lost an hour at doing stuff I wasn't meant to do. What I'm meant to be doing is I'm meant to be at the allotment and working on the greenhouse especially. I had um, some good comments yesterday uh, in Monday's upload and on the live stream basically saying start on the greenhouse now while it's still warm and <laughs> yeah that's actually really sensible because um, that's the biggest job. So I'm feeling a bit kind of up against the clock now and uh, what am I doing? I'm messing around in the garden instead. <laughs> it's just like, what is wrong with me? But I've started now, so I feel like I've got to finish. <laughs> and then after that, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> this has not been dug well. I don't think ever really, but you can see the roots here of this sedge. It is a real pain. And we've never known quite what to do with, the, with well, with the garden as a whole, but also just this little patch and for, the, for a, a long time we've just kind of had pots and like random little things in here so all of this is absolutely chock full of weeds and especially just you know really thick grass clods which is why i'm getting in with the fork <laughs> nearly caught it this is what happened it we've got kind of a concrete pad here that runs along the length and these roots butted up along the pad and just went vroom, and now all over the lawn. A real pain. God, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's worse than I thought, actually. There's loads. Oh, you want to go in, Reese? She's not a very outdoorsy dog, really. I can't get every single bit of green, but it is looking kind of nice and fresh. <laughs> it's quite satisfying to do, but <laughs> not what I should be doing. And I haven't finished yet because I still want to do the edges. And then, seeing as we're here, there's probably a few other things I can talk to you about in the back garden. And there we go, much longer than I expected, but we can actually see some of this nice brickwork. 
and yeah, it feels a little bit nicer, doesn't it? It's just nice to get something done. I do quite often just get kind of, you know, I start to feel a bit idle, but um, those other things that I said I'd show you, the main thing is the chili peppers. These really have not had much of a showing at all. And you can see, for the most part, they're looking pretty sad. I think the camera is slightly exaggerating how, how kind of yellow they look, but they don't look great. They are still, however, putting out some pods. A lot of these have been kind of eaten by pests. Um, but you can see, look, this is a ring of fire in its kind of third, it's had a third spurt and it's full of ripening peppers. There's some in here, the Buena Malata. This has been a bit of a strange plant. It's not ripened to red. Some of them have ripened to peach and some of them, oh, like this one, uh, that is done. You can see the kind of top has died off um, and it's not ripened, but it's time for that to come off the plant. So I need to come in here really and give these probably their last harvest. They're looking really sad. They've been blown over by the wind lots recently. I've not been taking care of them. Oh, this is nice though. These are my padron peppers, which are meant to be taken when they're green, like this one. <laughs> but if you let them go to red, they are really nice sweet peppers. So it's not much, but it's just a little kind of selection of things that didn't quite fit. And next door, you can see here, I've tried some garlic. Unfortunately, I've lost a few <laughs> because the dog was very intrigued by these. <laughs> and yeah, the dog liked to kind of nibble these, to stand on them and they're just in troughs. You can see they could do with a bit of a weed, but they're looking really healthy, probably a little bit early. And that's just some supermarket garlic that I bunged in. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Look, this is having a second flower. That's quite nice. And then the other thing that I thought it would be worth showing you is this. These are Jerusalem artichokes. I've never grown these before. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and these were actually gifted to me by Liz Zorab when I went to see her. And <laughs> She was giving me loads of stuff. I said, I haven't got space on the allotment. She was like, just make space. You'll find space somewhere. So I bung these in this big pot and let's, let's, let's have a look. You can see they're dying back now, which means I think it's time to harvest. Now, ordinarily, I think you'd start by cutting these back, but I'm a little bit nervous. It might be too early. So I'm going to leave the, the main stems attached. You can see I've mulched this with a little bit of grass and I'm just going to get in here see what is underneath. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not sure if maybe I should be saving some of this for kind of planting next year. Um, I'll look that up after I've done it. I should probably look it up before, but you know, <laughs> we're here now. We've come this far. We might as well continue. I don't know how far down to go. Oh, we've got something. You can see here just a little bit. Of, it looks quite light. I was expecting it to have a bit of a thicker skin. Not sure if that's a bad sign. So a few bits just snapped off. I'm thinking that looks very small. I think it's meant to be darker as well. I'm going to Google this. I'm going to stop and Google this before I completely mess this up. Okay, so after giving this a quick Google, I think I've been a bit premature. Either that or the plants are just not very healthy, but I'm going to leave them a little bit longer. I've put the compost back. <laughs> We're going to pretend that nothing ever happened and uh, hope that the plant carries on growing a little bit more. Apparently, once you dig them up, they don't store very well at all, but as long as they're still in the compost, they should store and they can go kind of into proper winter. So we'll see. We'll see what these do, but um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, like, it feels really stupid, an episode like this, but um, hopefully it gives you a, a kind of real and honest sense of <laughs> what it's like <laughs> trying to garden and why I'm so chaotic and miss weeks and get carried away with different stuff. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time.